Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I'll show you all how to change, uh, you know, the pop-up camera in uh, OnePlus 70 Pro. Let's see if, it, if that works. So yeah, let's get into the video. So this is how I've received the order received. So I'm just going to unbox and show how this is going to be, you know, how the cable will be. So let me get the knife first. So I'll just open this one. Hopefully, I didn't get a you know, uh, piece in which you know the cable is broken. Twice I've already ordered. I do want this also to be the same one. So let's see this how this turns out to be. So there's a camera actually. I think everything is good but the quality check is very bad so this is how it is so let's take out the camera Though I don't see any issues now, let's see. Now let's uh, connect to my phone and see if it is all good. So I'm going to you know replace the camera, uh, the front camera for this 70 Pro. Uh, it has uh, some camera issues because of which my, both the cameras are not working. So I'm trying to replace this camera, the pop-up camera. So let's see that. So this is error. So let's open this and um, try to replace. I have the replacement camera also, which I ordered from Max P. So let's see if this works. So I'm using this uh, hair dryer as a no, hot gun so that I can remove the back case. Hopefully this should work. I've already opened this previously, so it should not give me any problem. Something like this, you have to open it. And there are 14 screws which you need to remove. There are two hidden screws. One is over here, it will be hidden something like this white paper, and there is a screw underneath this. And underneath, there is one more screw which we need to remove. So let's remove this one. So this should come out something like this after removing the 14 screws. Let me keep this safe so that I don't lose a single screw. So the next thing we need to do is uh, disconnect the battery and uh, motherboard connections and the display connections as well. We are supposed to use a more specific tool for this. It's fine. If you are not experienced, don't try this. Even I'm not experienced, but I've already opened this previously, so I know the you know inside of this. 
Hopefully I don't create a mess out of it. And again there are two screws here, one is over here. Very small tiny screws. And there is one screw between these two, you know. Uh, keep this safe so once that is done so we need to remove this as well so currently if you see there is no camera I had removed it previously so I'm going to insert the new camera so let's remove this motherboard now nothing else there are some holders for this wires which needs to be removed and here as well you need to be very careful with that instead of removing the back camera keep it as it is unless you want to do the tear down video. So after this, next thing you need to do is remove this motor. Uh, this motor, you know, helps remove this uh, uh, pop up camera. So we need to remove three screws for that one is here one is here and this one spe uh, special screw for this special screw i use this minus screwdriver so last time when i opened it i didn't tighten it i just kept it loose so that it doesn't create issues later on these are tiny screws again Keep these three screws safe. So once that is done, you need to you know after uh, so when removing this motherboard and removing this motherboard, you need to disconnect this front camera as it was not there in mind that's the reason I couldn't show that and then remove the motherboard or else you might uh, create problems for the front camera if it is already working so there will be a sticker something like this so you need to remove that and there are two screws here which you need to remove These are the you know, holders or the lock for the pop-up camera. Remove this. Let's keep one with this and keep it safe. Now it's the you know, it's a simple part. You have to just. Push it. And take out this pop-up camera. So once this pop-up camera is taken out, you need to remove this uh, uh, lid for the front camera. Which holds this, you know, front camera. And there is a lock as well which you need to remove once removed you have to insert the front camera from here let me take out the front camera replacement camera which i had ordered so 
had ordered twice from Max V. I hope this works at least. Last two and twice when I ordered it was in a tone, so I couldn't use that. Hopefully this doesn't give problems. So we have to insert this like this. And then place this lock. close this because of my, I'm not going to put uh, the glue for this I'll keep it like this itself make sure I you know not to be very safe I mean very careful when putting it back it's not uh, there inserted this now the thing to do is uh, the first thing is to put back the lock for the front camera then put these then put these three screws for the motor and then finally put the motherboard and stitch everything back I'm not going to show much, I'm not going to talk much, I'll just do this because I have to be very careful now. Back the camera hopefully this should work after this yeah i have to connect everything everything is connected now let's put the auto cover and close this when doing that don't forget to press here it has to connect to this part that is for the LED or the flash you know, this thing has to connect here so once you close it just press this part of it screws and tighten the screws so I tried um, you know, the front camera and back camera is working now so when I try the front camera I just see white screen though it's popping up I'm just seeing white screen still the issue is not so not sure if it is because of the 
know if the camera is damaged or not sure why. So that's all in the video guys. Hope everyone liked it. Uh, if you like, please do hit the like button, share, comment and do subscribe guys. Thank you so much. Let's catch you again in the next video. Bye.